Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Mailbox. This is a video series where you, the viewer, can submit your gaming or Battlefield related questions, and then I will give my humble opinion on them. To get the formalities out of the way real quick, if you would like to submit your own question that can be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below, or by sending me a Facebook and Twitter message. The first question for today is, in Battlefield Hardline, it looks like we'll be able to create our own custom camos. Would it be a good idea to add a money system to buy other players camos and their design using in-game money not money from your paycheck this could make a simple addition to the community just like the system that is in counter-strike go i would actually not be opposed if they decided to charge real world money for these custom camos in battle of the hardline some of you might be thinking right now whoa 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 we've already spent 60 dollars on the game why in the hell would you want to spend more money on custom camos that like that, that seems ridiculous I would agree with you, but the caveat to this type of monetary system, and kind of like microtransactions, is that this would mean that all future DLCs, or at least the maps, would be completely free for everyone in the community. One of the largest issues with basically every multiplayer first-person shooter out there that has DLCs is that it splits their community. It, it splits their player base. When a new DLC launches in Battlefield 4, it's a lot of fun. For the first couple of weeks, everyone's playing on Naval Strike, everyone's trying to get all that new content. For the most part, people are enjoying themselves. But you guys have probably noticed now that hardly anyone plays on Naval Strike. Hardly anyone plays on a lot of the DLC content simply because the player base isn't large enough to warrant servers to keep them in their rotation. It's a huge issue in basically every multiplayer first person shooter out there. Uh, for all the problems that Evolve has, I really have to commend the developers and the publishers for making all of their maps free. Like that is a huge step in the right direction. And honestly, if Battlefield Hardline charged for custom camos or different cosmetic items in the game if that funded the development of having maps for everyone in the community I would be 100% on board uh, clearly this isn't gonna happen for Battle of the Hardline since we already know about premium service which is gonna have four DLCs which includes the map but I'm, I'm really hoping that for future Battlefield games like Battlefield 5, Bad Company 3, Battlefield 2143 that they would try this type of monetization personally I think it is better for for the community overall it just it just makes sense to keep people together and while I, I realize that I've completely deviated from your question I think that your idea is a good one as well getting the community to work together and purchase these camos with with uh, in-game money is a solid recommendation but I would love if, if, if it was taken a step further where this was actually funding future DLCs and content that would be available for a larger player base that, that's just just my two cents though the next question is, what do you think of having it so that health only auto-regens to 50-75% to without using a med bag slash med kit? This would incentivize people to stick together in squads more often and to emphasize the importance of medics. Uh, well, you're definitely right that this would increase the importance of the medic class in Battlefield. If you're playing as the engineer, this puts you at a severe disadvantage. You kill a couple of people here and there, eventually you're going to take damage. And if there isn't an auto-regen system that gets you back to full health, doesn't matter how conservative you are, you run around, eventually you're going to get into a firefight where you take some damage, and the next target that you try to take out, there's no way that you're going to be able to win that firefight if they're around the same skill level, because if they're playing as a medic or they just respawn, that are 100% health, and you're sitting pretty at only 50 or 75, there's no way that you're going to be able to come out of that firefight alive. And so you are absolutely right. This would emphasize the role of the medic class. Uh, this also might have the result of simply getting people to work together a little bit more. If you know that your health is not going to get auto-regen to 100%, you're going to be more likely to seek out medics. You might be like, hey, I like you. You're laying down med bags all over the place. I'm going to stick around with you all game long. And there's that teamwork. That There's that squad cohesion that everyone wants in a team-oriented game. The problems that we run into, though, is that while some of this sounds very tantalizing, who doesn't want more teamwork in Battlefield, uh, it would put just a greater emphasis on a class that's already amazing. Like, the Medic is one of the most popular classes in the game, and make it even more powerful. 
The reason why a lot of people already run as the medic is because it basically is that self-sustaining class. You can get back into the action very quickly, you can run around like Rambo, you completely can completely disregard your team because you have a med bag that regenerates your health very quickly and you can go on a rampage. Now think, for example, if that becomes even more challenging on all of the other classes. I really enjoy playing as the engineer and just using the PDWs. I know a lot of people hate the PDWs in Battlefield 4, I love them, but if I then had to stick around more of the medics and rely on them, while once again I think teamwork is good, it's gonna, it's gonna make it harder for me just to go off and go kill a tank and, and do things on my own. And while I know some people might criticize me for doing the whole lone wolf every once in a while, this is a huge aspect of the game. And you know a lot of people partake in the whole lone wolf mentality. And so you will then have less people running around as engineers, supports, and recon, which are very important at taking out tanks because they want to maintain that 100% health. They're going to go the selfish route and place down med bags and play as as the, uh, the meta class so that they don't come across that disadvantage of only having 50% health when they get into their next firefight. And so while there definitely are some very tantalizing benefits to the system that you described, I think in the grander scheme of things, it wouldn't have the outcome that you're looking for. Most people would just gravitate on over towards the assault and the medic class, and I don't necessarily think that is uh, the right step for Battlefield 4, or really for future Battlefield games. The next question comes from Cody, and it is, how come Battlefield 4 and Hardline can't fix the reload bug? I have no idea what is going on with the reload bug in the Battlefield franchise, and it doesn't seem like anything has really been done to resolve the issue. It's been a problem for a long time now. It was an issue back in Battlefield 3, Clear clearly it's an issue in Battlefield 4, and I don't want to necessarily say it's worse in Hardline, but if you played the beta for an extended period of time, I'm sure you encountered the reload bug quite frequently and it probably got you killed on a few occasions. Like, it's really annoying. The only thing that I can think of is that this has to be related to the engine. Like, this has to be hard-coded into the Frostbite engine for it to be affecting three different games over the years. You would assume that by now, something would have been done. Maybe they're doing something behind the scenes and they haven't just let us know over the years. Maybe they have been trying actively to resolve this issue. But the fact that it has been a problem for years is, is really disappointing. And so I don't know, maybe in the near future, they'll be able to resolve this issue if their track record so far is any indication that is definitely not gonna happen. But who knows, we can cross our fingers, maybe we'll get lucky. But yeah, I, I'm right there with you. The reload bug has been a nuisance over the years and you would think that they would eventually get around to, to fixing it. The next question comes from Alex and it is, do you think that Visceral should make a hardline DLC about police departments from other countries like Germany and France? That is not a bad idea. What I love about it is that it would give Visceral an excuse to explore different parts of the world and just to have a different scenery other than Miami and I think California, which is what we have right now in Battlefield Hardline. It'd be cool to fight in the streets of Paris, robbing a bank with the Eiffel Tower in the background, or better yet, fighting around the Eiffel Tower. Maybe go into London, have Big Ben around there. Like you could have all of these really iconic maps since Hardline is set more in cities because it's around criminals, it's criminal enterprises, robbing banks and stuff like that. You could have these really awesome bank heist types of maps and that would be an amazing DLC. It would probably cost them a little bit more to do something like this because of course the streets of Paris look vastly different from the streets of Miami so they'd have to create a lot of new assets, they would have to hire the voice actors to do the French accents for all of the callouts in the multiplayer, all of that would need to be done and that costs a little bit more, but I don't think that those costs would be grand enough where this idea would be just, would be tossed out. I think it would still be on the table. And so yeah, I love the idea. There really isn't a whole lot more to talk about. If we were able to explore different parts of the world just because of the different setting, I just think that that would be a marvelous idea for some future DLC. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's Sunday Mailbox. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you would like to submit your own question that can be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below or by sending me a Facebook and Twitter message. But until tomorrow guys, have a good one and take it easy.